Hey guys, it is Tuesday morning. This is the last full day that my mom is here because she's leaving tomorrow and plans for today. We were, well, originally we were thinking of maybe going down to Seattle. This is just ideas we were tossing around a few days ago, but there's more than enough to do here in Vancouver so we could do Seattle another time. Uh, but today we're gonna go down to the seawall, walk around there and do some shopping downtown like Brooklyn still wants to look for some shoes and there's lots of shopping downtown. So that's a good place to go. And we also maybe want to hit up that big Victoria's Secret that's down there. We'll see. And then we're going to go to an escape room. It's at four. So we probably want to be done whatever we're doing by quarter after three and start to make our way there, especially because we should be there 15 minutes early. And it's themed the ruins. And it's some kind of like your excavating or you're like exploring a tunnel or something i don't really know what it's going to be like there was a vague description online and so we're gonna go do that later today are you excited brooklyn guess what today is what 21st on tuesday, oh. <laughs> on tuesday. <laughs> i don't put any salt and pepper in here though yeah which mm. needs salt and pepper we can put some cheese on top yeah got all this cheese I'm ready for my breakfast. <laughs> okay, we made it to the seawall, but it's super duper windy and cold. <laughs> I don't know how long we'll be here, but I might just do like a montage or something because of all the wind. It might mess with the audio. I'm cupping my hand around the mic right now, but. It's probably not helping a ton. Okay, so now I think we're gonna head down well we are downtown, but we're gonna go shopping and so okay. at one point we were down by the water and I tried walking on some rocks but they were wet and mossy and they were so slippery so as soon as I started to slip I could not catch myself because I'm just surrounded by more rocks and so I just kept slipping till finally one of my feet just went right in the water that's the only way I could catch myself was to just go in the water so I've had a wet foot and somebody had to save her <laughs> yeah my, my mom had to come and like help me out of the rocks because I just kept slipping oh uh, it was good we made it downtown We're done at Victoria's Secret finally. <laughs> There's a big store. There's a lot to look at. My mom's getting Subway. Brooklyn and I went to this food truck. We had hot dogs. So we have bratwurst sausage in ours with like onions and relish and ketchup. And she also has mustard. My mom picked up some of these ketchup Doritos. So we have those too. And then once we're done eating, we'll have to head over to the escape room. <laughs> so we did not 
beat our room and had a 20% success rate, but we were so close. Like we were stuck on the kind of the final puzzle thing and we were on a roll, but we just like, we didn't have, we just didn't have enough time. And um, we only used one of our clues. We were allowed three, but it, we weren't really stuck. It's just that no. we were like, there was a whole bunch of math you had to do in the middle and we were doing it in our heads. Apparently there was a calculator hidden somewhere that we didn't find. So we're just like, oh my God, yeah, <laughs> we're trying to do it. like multiply all these big numbers and stuff like <laughs> Oh, if yeah, if we had that, that would have helped so much. We would have got faster. the right numbers right off the bat. That would have bought us some more time because, yeah, we were on the last puzzle. I think we probably still would have needed that hint on the last puzzle because that was kind of confusing. Yeah, it's possible. But then we were like deciphering the numbers and we ran out of time. And so we were really close. And they said most, like it was three rooms and we were in the third room. They said most people don't even make it to the third room. So, <laughs> yeah. So we did good, but. Especially we considering win. we didn't find the calculator or the pen and paper. Yeah, there was also a pen and paper, I guess, yeah. just underneath so one of the chests. And I'm like, we had to do all the I didn't math know I could lift head. the chests. <laughs> and who was the math wizard? Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she saved the day, definitely. <sighs> there was just a lot to memorize, too, which is why the pen and paper would have been handy because mm -hmm. you have to do a bunch of algebra to decipher what the numbers even mm -hmm. are. And so if we had that pen and paper, that would have saved because I was so lost. I was just like, wait, what is this again? Like, I just, I couldn't keep it straight. So if we had that. Yeah, a lot of things uh, you go back and redo because you forget what they are. So you redo them again yeah. to refresh it in your memory. Yeah, exactly. So if we had those, the pen and paper and calculator, we yeah. probably could have. We would have. Yeah. Anyway. Next time. <laughs> Especially because we didn't, there's two hints we didn't even use. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that was still really fun though. <laughs> and I guess now we're going to head back home. Yeah. And we are now back home from the escape room place. Uh, we've been back for about half an hour and unfortunately someone has parked in my parking spot which has only happened that one time before ever since we got the towing sign and like the authority to call the towing company to get vehicles towed this is the first time someone has parked there but yeah now we're just sitting here watching waiting for the tow truck <laughs> i'm just curious i've never seen this process yet so we'll see that person hasn't come back out i don't know how long they've been there because we've been gone since around 10 40 or something like yeah. that so we've been going park there all day for all we know yeah, exactly oh baby <laughs> the time has come bye yeah we're just having some snacks while a little kiki rips around the room oh me that too now oh my <laughs> behind that painting or whatever it is we're gonna knock it over yeah that happens a lot that picture <laughs> Oh, that was not recording the whole time. Great. Great. I was just saying how we're migrating down to the basement and then I'm not quite sure what we're doing. Playing a game, watching something, watching more Jane the Virgin. We were going to watch Jane the Virgin and I don't know. We just kind of like kept just sitting on the couch upstairs not moving. <laughs> um, I was also just saying how... Tonight's my mom's last night here because she's leaving tomorrow afternoon, but Brooklyn is staying until Friday morning, so, yep. The best guy are going to be our first and last dinner guest. Come on, it was so nice of her. And, and I've been thinking, if we cut corners here and there, maybe we can stay. That's your filing system? Well, this and the other box, yeah. I hate this whole flamingo thing. It's not too late. washed up for bed I just need to change into my pajamas but oh I've been sleeping <laughs> uh, we came down to watch some Jane the Virgin and I fell asleep quite quickly I was struggling to keep my eyes open and we came down here at like nine o'clock and uh, I was like probably fully out by 10 I mean I kept kind of waking up and then Eventually I moved to the floor because I wanted to stretch my legs out, but I didn't want the armrest of the couch to get into my legs anymore So I was like on the floor trying to sleep down there. I don't know why I just didn't get up and go to bed <laughs> Oh I'm so tired and I finally got myself up to at least wash my face and brush my teeth and stuff What is oh, there's like a melted Ew, get that out of here <sighs> 
a melted mini egg. Anyway, I just feel gross. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but I guess I'll go to bed. Oh, good girl, baby. <laughs> I will head to bed. So thanks for watching and see you guys tomorrow. I don't want to spoil it online, so here's like a tiny sneak peek of it. For memory. <laughs> Thank you. All the embroidery on the bottom here. It's very delicate. Mm -hmm. It's just down. It's done to every detail. Like. Mm -hmm. Also, I got shoes. So that's technically the dress, the veil, three belts.